The following program is presented by Chick-fil-A and Bright Star Credit Union. Suncoast High takes on school for advanced studies tonight on School Duel. Welcome to School Duel, where the top 20 high schools in South Florida battle it out. Now, the ultimate winners of this academic tournament walk away with a school trophy from Edco and a $1,000 check courtesy of Bright Star Credit Union and Chick-fil-A. So with that much at stake, let's go ahead and take a quick peek at the brackets for tonight's semifinal game of School Duel. As you see, the semifinal game features Suncoast High versus School for Advanced Studies in what is going to be quite a showdown. The winner between the two schools will be moving on to the championship game of School Duel. So let's hear it for our two competitors. Yes. And one more thing before the battle begins, a student with the most correct answers throughout the show will win the Chick-fil-A challenge and receive free chicken sandwiches for an entire year. to get started our opening round is called first strike in this round it's school versus school and each question is worth 10 points any question answered incorrectly gives the other school a chance to steal all right schools hands on the buzzers and prepare for the first strike first question deals with time periods the beginning of this time period came in the mid 1300s Name this period of the Middle Ages that saw the greatest, yes, Lucas? The Renaissance. Yes, very good. <laughs> biomes. Of the six major land-based biomes, which one typically contains more than half of the world's plant and animal species? Christopher? Rainforest. Yes, very good. <laughs> Names. One of the main characters in the sitcom Friends, this name is also what a baby kangaroo is called. Yes, Ryan. Joey. Yes, excellent. <laughs> Maneuvers. An Eskimo roll is a maneuver used to turn over what kind of capsized watercraft? Lucas. A canoe. Incorrect, Suncoast. Tyler. A kayak. Yes, very good. <laughs> Moving along to short stories. He spends one night in the mountains and finds upon returning home that the local landscape has changed. His gun has rusted and he has aged greatly. Name this title character of, yes, Tyler? Rip Van Winkle. Very good. Here we go, writing. When editing an essay, the backwards P symbol called a, yes, Brandon? Paragraph. Very good. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the What Am I question brought to you by McFadder Technical College in Davie. Our contestants are given a clue about something or someone and shown a picture that will slowly reveal itself. So, here it goes. He was born and raised in Gainesville, Florida. Name this late rock star who played with the Heartbreakers and whose music, Lucas? Tom Petty. Yes, excellent. Here's a little tidbit on Tom Petty. Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2002, and in his career, he sold more than 80 million records worldwide. Let's move on to a question about gods. Like Poseidon, what Roman god of the sea carries a trident? Ryan? Neptune. Very good. <laughs> Medicine. In 1928, Alexander Fleming discovered what? Ryan? Penicillin. Yes, very good. Storms. Because of the Coriolis effect, storms in the northern hemisphere swirl in what direction? Lucas. West. Incorrect. Suncoast. Ryan. Counterclockwise. Very good. <laughs> Old Testament. As a result of his crime, he was forced to wander the earth and had a mark put upon him to... Yes, Brandon? Moses. Incorrect. School for Advanced Studies. He had a mark put upon him to keep others from killing him. Name this character in the book of Genesis whose rage at God's refusal to honor his sacrifice resulted, Josh? Cain. Very good. <laughs> States. 
The green tree frog is the official state amphibian of Louisiana and what state known for pecans and peaches? Yes, Lucas? Georgia. Very good. Mammals. It can find the grass it survives on by using its shoulder hump to move snow in the winter. Herds of this animal, yes, Lucas? Camels. Incorrect, Suncoast. Herds of this animal have lived in Yellowstone Park since prehistoric times. Yes, Dylan? Bison. Very good. Oh, there's our horn, and that means the end to the first strike round. We do have Suncoast leading with 80 points. School for Advanced Studies right behind them with 50 points. But we will be right back with more School Duel after these messages. In 1973, Chick-fil-A founder Truett Cathy created the Leadership Scholarship Program, encouraging Chick-fil-A restaurant employees to further their education. Since then, Chick-fil-A has awarded more than $28 million in scholarships to team members who excel in the classroom, serve their communities, demonstrate a solid work ethic, and possess a desire to lead. So we say, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Truett. It means a lot. Chick-fil-A is the proud corporate partner of the pursuit of higher education. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. round of action ended with Suncoast leading. They have 80 points. School for Advanced Studies has 50 points. Now before we begin the second round, let's take a minute to meet this week's competitors from each school. Hi, I'm Brennan. I'm a senior. I'm the team captain. Go Chargers! Hi, I'm Dylan. I'm a junior. Go Chargers! Hi, I'm Tyler. I'm a sophomore. Go Chargers! Hi, I'm Ryan. I'm a junior. Go Chargers! I'm Will, I'm a junior, go Chargers. My man Tyler here, the, hey. the carry, if there was ever one. All right guys, the Chargers, we like to keep it cool under composure. I, I think we said that last, yeah. Uh, yeah, we got Brandon, how you feeling? Pretty good, I'm ready to win. Semi-final right now, Ryan, oh, Ryan, check your hair. Tyler. Go Chargers! What's up? I'm Lucas, team captain for SAS. I'm a senior. Let's go White Tigers. Hi, I'm Abraham. I'm a senior. Let's go White Tigers. I'm Josh. I'm a senior at SAS. I'm also the student advisor to the school board of Miami-Dade County, Florida. Let's go White Tigers! I'm Chris. I'm a junior. Go White Tigers! Hi, I'm Brandon. I'm a senior. Go White Tigers! Oh, he's, he's ready for anything. Heavyweight champion of the world. And then there's Josh. What's good? <laughs> and Chris is in there also, but he can't do this thing. Let's get this bread. Go, Go White Tigers! Now let's hear it for both schools. Okay, now that we know everyone, let's go ahead and move on to round two, the joust, and it's presented by Public Supermarkets. Here a player from each school competes head-to-head -head with a toss-up question. The winner gets three bonus questions for their school, and all questions are worth 10 points. All right, schools, it is time to joust. So we'll start with Brandon and Lucas. Come on down. All right, gentlemen, here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. Give the psychology term defined by coursenotes.org as 
a fear of something that is so strong it affects your day-to-day -day life? Yes, Lucas? Phobia. Very good. <laughs> all right, Skull for Advanced Studies. The following bonus questions all deal with common phobias. Bonus question number one. Arachnophobia is a fear of what, Lucas? Spiders. Very good. Acrophobia is a fear of? Lucas? Heights. Very good. Triscodecophobia is a fear of? Lucas? The number 13. Yes, very good. All right, our next two, Abraham and Dylan, come on down. It's your turn to joust. Here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. Which two-word art term is defined by New York's Museum of Modern Art as a representation of inanimate objects, as a painting of a bowl of fruit? That would be still life. All right, next question. What is defined by New York's Museum of Modern Art as a series of moving images, especially those printed? Yes, Dylan? Um, tessellation. Incorrect. Abraham, I'll finish the question. A series of moving images, especially those printed on photographic celluloid and projected onto a screen. Yes, Abraham? Video? Incorrect. The answer is film. So we'll move on to our next two, Josh and Tyler. Come on down. It is your turn to joust. <laughs> Gentlemen, here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. What golf term refers to a sandy area off the fairway that acts as a hazard? Yes, Tyler? A bunker? Yes, very good. <laughs> all right, Suncoast, the following bonus questions all deal with golf terms. Bonus question number one. If your score on a hole is a snowman, you scored this. Ryan? Three. That's incorrect. The answer is eight. Bonus question number two. Although against the rules, what golf term is used for a free second shot if the first one was bad? Tyler. Mulligan. Yes, very good. Your third bonus question, what term is used for a piece of grass you knock out of the ground while hitting the ball? Tyler. Give it. Very good, excellent. And our last two to joust are Ryan and Christopher, so come on down. All right, here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. One chemistry teacher uses the following rhyme to help students remember how to find this. Percent to mass, mass to mole. Divide by small, multiply till whole. What type of chemical formula is found by using this sequence? Yes, Ryan. Molecular. Incorrect. Christopher? A topping mass. Incorrect. It's empirical. All right, here's another question for you. What metal can be described by the adjectives ferric and Yes, Christopher. Iron. Very good, excellent. All right, School for Advanced Studies. The following bonus questions all deal with chemistry. Bonus question number one. The indicator that turns blue in base solutions and red in acid, name it. Josh. pH scale. Incorrect, it's litmus. Bonus question number two. Type of bond created by shared electrons, name it. Abraham. Covenant. Very good. <laughs> Bonus question number three. Process of a solid converting to gas without becoming liquid first. Lucas. Sublimation. Very good, excellent. There's my horn, that means the end of the joust. We now have School for Advanced Studies leading. They have 120 points, Suncoast has 110 points, but we'll be right back with more School Duel after these messages. It must be fate that his cap and gown are the same color he wore for his kindergarten graduation. It's the same rascally smile, that hasn't changed. But he stands there, so sure, so ready to take on the world. He has arrived. It's hard not to resist and push against the door that's closing, but you give in a little, because the future is wide open. From each little moment to every major milestone, Publix, proud supporter of education.
There were these kids and they were doing this weird thing with their hands and... Well, it's not up to you. I already made my decision. But don't just go through the motions. Embrace them. Take it all in. Breathe, focus, then go. You know, we've been raised to be leaders and be responsible and don't be a follower. And that's exactly what we're doing right now. Coming up on Broward Teen News. We're at West Broward High School. We're here at Cooper City High School. We're at Stoneman Douglas High School. It's Cypress Bay edition of Broward Teen News. Broward Teen News starts now. BTN is South Florida's only teen-produced news program, produced by a different Broward High School every month. Broward Teen News, South Florida's student-produced news show by teens for teens. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. Welcome back to School Duel, where local high schools match wits to see who will be this year's School Duel champion. Now, today's semifinal game has Suncoast competing against School for Advanced Studies. It's a very close game with School for Advanced Study leading. They have 120 points. Suncoast has 110 points. It is now time for the rapid action round. During this round, each school receives an identical category of questions to answer quickly by themselves. Since Suncoast is trailing, they get to go first while School for Advanced Studies waits outside the studio for their turn with the same questions. Today's category is biology. In this category, all the questions deal with biology and each question is worth 10 points. And remember, you must answer these quickly or the judge will move you on. So Suncoast, here comes rapid action. Biology. Cue music and let's begin. Surface layer of cells on a plant or animal. Brandon? Cell membrane. And what part of the body are carpal bones found? Brandon? Fingers. Type of plant tissue that moves water from roots to leaves. Dylan? Stroma. General term for a human sperm cell or egg cell before it's fertilized. Tyler? Gamete. A change in genetic material that produces a new variation. Dylan. Mutation. Lowest rank of taxonomy. Tyler. Species. This four letter suffix means inflammation. Tyler. Itis. Name the first organ to emerge from a germinating plant seed. Tyler. The stem. Animal whose blue version is the wildebeest. Brandon. Oxen. What is a mature female horse called? Tyler? A mare. All right, very good, Suncoast. We got through all of your questions. And a great job to Suncoast High. Now with a little TV magic, let's go ahead and bring in the School for Advanced Studies. And welcome back, School for Advanced Studies. Now it's your turn with the same questions. Today's category is biology. And in this category, the questions all deal with biology. Each question is worth 10 points, and remember, you must answer these quickly or the judge will move you on, okay? So, cue music, and let's begin. Surface layer of cells on a plant or animal? Lucas. Cell wall. And what part of the body are carpal bones found? Lucas. The wrist. Type of plant tissue that moves water from roots to leaves? Abram. Xylem. 
general term for a human sperm cell or egg cell before it's fertilized, Christopher? Gammy. A change in genetic material that produces a new variation, Lucas? Mutation. Lowest rank of taxonomy, Lucas. Species. This four letter suffix means inflammation. Abraham. Itis. Name the first organ to emerge from a germinating plant seed. Lucas. Roots. Animal whose blue version is the wildebeest. Lucas. Boar. What is a mature female horse called? Lucas. Full. All right, good job, School for Advanced Study. There's my horn. Now the only two questions that both teams missed is the surface layer of cells on a plant or animal is the epidermis. Also, animal whose blue version is the wildebeest is a new. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that ends rapid action round. We do have School for Advanced Studies leading. They have 190 points, Suncoast has 160 points, but let's go ahead and take a short break and then we will be back for the final showdown to see who moves on to the School Duel Championship game. In 1973, Chick-fil-A founder Truett Cathy created the Leadership Scholarship Program. Encouraging Chick-fil-A restaurant employees to further their education. Since then, Chick-fil-A has awarded more than $28 million in scholarships. To team members who excel in the classroom, serve their communities. Demonstrate a solid work ethic and possess a desire to lead. So we say, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Truett. It means a lot. Chick-fil-A is the proud corporate partner of the pursuit of higher education. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. School Duel, and we've got a very exciting game going at School for Advanced Studies, holding on to their lead over Suncoast. Our current score is 190 to 160. It is now time for the final showdown, and this is our last round. The schools will go against each other again with toss-up questions, but this time, these questions are now worth 20 points each. Now, just a reminder, if a question is answered incorrectly, the other school can steal. All right, schools, this is for a spot in the championship game of School Duel. It is time for the final showdown. First question deals with software. Name the component software package within Microsoft Office that's designed to let you keep your calendar straight and read your email. Brandon. Outlook. U.S. Presidents. He had two vice presidents while in office, one being Spiro Agnew. Yes, Lucas? Richard Nixon. Geography. It runs approximately 800 miles through California. Name this famous geological Yes, Lucas. The San Andreas Fault. Physics. What law of physics relates the current through a resistor to the, yes, Brandon? Ohm's law. Fast capitals. What is the capital of Finland? Lucas. Helsinki. Elections. In 1996, who did incumbent Bill Clinton defeat? Lucas. Bob Dole. Shakespeare. Name the Shakespeare tragedy that begins two households, both alike. Lucas. Romeo and Juliet. Congress. What is the title of the leader of the House of Congress? Yes, Dylan? Speaker of the House. U.S. History. What former Secretary of the Treasury was the principal author of the Federalist Papers? Brian. Hamilton. Authors. His novel, In Dubious Battle, tells of a fruit worker strike in his native California. Name this Nobel. Yes, Lucas. Cesar Chavez. Incorrect. Suncoast, here we go. Name this Nobel Prize winning author who wrote Of Mice and Men and, yes, Dylan? Steinbeck. Purchases. If you bought bear claws in a baker's dozen, how many did you purchase, Brandon? 13. Multiple meanings. 
It is a flightless bird that is a national symbol of New Zealand as well. Yes, Lucas? Kiwi. The NFL. What wide receiver elected to the Pro Football Hall of Fame for 2018 caught more than 150 touchdowns during his career that included stops in Minnesota, New England, and San Francisco? Dylan. Randy Moss. Spelling. A military rank spell the word lieutenant. Ryan. L-I-E-U-T-E-N-A-N-T. Novels. In this George Orwell novel, the main character, Winston Smith, works, Tyler? 1984. Algebra. In algebra, what is 42 ABC divided by 6 AC? Yes, Lucas? 7 B. Films. Mel Brooks got multiple Tony Awards for the Broadway version of what movie, Lucas? The producers. Sports. Its players use a court and net similar to volleyball, but smaller. Name this sport where points, yes, Brandon? Batman. Companies, it pioneered a system that could track packages. Name the giant, Lucas? UPS. Incorrect, Suncoast. Name the giant shipping company headquartered in Memphis, Tennessee, and known for its overnight shipping service. Ryan. FedEx. Directors, name the film director, a native of New Zealand, whose movies like his King Kong remake and Heavenly Creatures, Lucas? Peter Jackson. Departments. Oh! <laughs> To winning this episode of School Duel. They're ending with a score of 380. School for Advanced Studies, they were right there throughout this entire game. They're ending with 370. But this win, Suncos, is putting you into the championship game. Congratulations. <laughs> Great job to everyone. And this also brings an end to the Chick-fil-A challenge. And today's winner is, drum roll, please, Lucas from School for Advanced Studies. <laughs> Congratulations on your Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches for an entire year. And at this time, we'd like to thank all of you at home for watching and thank you to our sponsors for making School Duel possible. Now, don't forget to check out our website at schoolduel.tv where you can find out more about the schools involved. You can watch past shows. And remember to please use hashtag School Duel to contact us through social media. Most importantly, make sure that you tune in next week for the championship game of School Duel Thursday at 8 p.m. at Cypress Bay takes on Suncoast High. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> School Duel was brought to you by Chick-fil-A and Bright Star Credit Union.